Let's see some real time coding questions in Java 8. Consider we have one employee list and this employee list consists of 5 hard coded employee details. Let's see that employee class. So this is that class. It consists of ID, name, age, department and salary. So the respective constructors, setters and getter methods and two string method is there. So these are the questions we are going to see in this session. We have each of them as a separate method so that it will be easy for us to solve. Let's work on each of them. The first question, print the employee list by using streams. This is simple. So let's take the employee list dot. We need to call stream method. This employee list is nothing but the actual hard coded list. Okay. To print this, we need to use one function called for each. Inside this, we can pass system dot out dot print ln. So instead of this, we can also use the method reference directly using double colon. Okay, now let's execute this. These are the list of employees. Let's see the next question. Find the employees whose salary greater than forty thousand. For this, let's copy the previous one to print. Okay, now we have to check salary greater than 40,000. For that, we need to have one method that is called filter. So, in this method, we can pass this condition. So, now our condition is we have to take the employee salary. So, how we can do that means let's create one variable employee implies employee dot get salary. So now we got the salary and our condition is it should be greater than 40,000. Let's have that greater than 40,000. That's it. This will give us the employees whose salary greater than 40,000. Change the method so that we can print only the check salary method. Okay. So now we can execute. If you see we have only the 42,000 and 48,000 employee salary. Let's see the next question. Print the names of employees in sales department. So, let's copy paste that uh, previous one to print. Okay, now we have to print only the names of employees. For that, we can use one method called map. By using this map method, we can convert the list of employees to the string. That is nothing but the names of employees. Let's see how. We can take employee implies employee dot get name. This will be working fine. Also, if needed, we can replace this lambda with method reference like this employee double colon get name. We have one more condition to print only the sales department employees. For that, we know we have method called filter to execute this condition. Employee implies employee dot get department now what is our condition sales department so since this is string we can use equals or equals in case case whatever needed we can use and pass that sales inside this by using filter we have passed the condition and by using map that conversion let's print this so we got Siva and Devi who are in sales department. Let's verify that. So this is our list. We have Siva in sales department and Devi also in sales department. Next question. Print the name of the highest salary employee. Let's copy paste the previous one. So that we can edit in this itself. Okay for this we no need this filter condition. Let's remove that. Now we have only the conversion to get the name of the employees. But we need the highest salary employee. How we can achieve that means by using one function called max. So dot max. So inside this we have to pass comparator. So comparator dot comparing. Inside this we can get the salary. That is employee double colon by using method reference we can call the salary get salary so now we can import this comparator 
okay but we can't print this directly since this will be returning optional string let's assign this to one variable max salary employee okay create variable but this is returning optional of string we don't want that let's return only the string we can use get to get only the string instead of optional okay let's print this max salary employee okay let's execute this also we have enabled this method let's run this now we got devi let's verify if this is correct so we can check in this list so 48000 who is getting means devi next question is to print the name of the minimum salary employee this is similar to the previous one only so we can copy paste the same thing we can rename this variable to min salary employee let's print that and the main change will be instead of max we have to put here min that's it we can execute this and check comment out this and enable minimum salary employee okay let's execute now if you see in the list we got Ramesh so let's verify if Ramesh is the actual one yeah he is getting 20,000 correct remove the duplicate departments that is print only the unique departments expected output is sales HR development so only the unique departments are printed okay let's see how we can do that employee list dot stream dot so here we need to get the departments for that we can use map so map employee double colon get department okay we got the department now let's print that for each of system dot out double colon print ln next we need to get only the unique departments for that after this map we can use one method called distinct so this will give us only the unique departments that is it will remove the duplicates let's execute this now yeah we got sales hr and development also let's see one more thing so here if you want to print sales comma hr comma development like that if you want to print means we can use something called collect so inside this collect we can pass collectors dot joining so by using this joining we can set the delimiter by using this delimiter we can add the separation so for example here we have added comma okay we can't print this directly let's assign this to one variable create variable okay now let's run this yeah we got the desired output next question sort the employees based on name let's do that employee list dot stream so here we need to get the names of employees for that we know we have something called map so let's add that map of employee double colon get name okay now we got the names of employees let's print that for that we need to use for each function for each of system dot out double colon print ln next we need to sort the employees name so for that after map we can add something called sorted so this will sort our employees name let's run this we got the result if you see these are the sorted employee names machine sort the employees based on name in reverse order previously we saw how to do in ascending order now let's see how to do in descending order let's copy paste the previous one to sort okay so here in sorted we need to add that logic to reverse so comparator dot we have one method called reverse order so by using this we can reverse these names of employees 
we have enabled both sorting methods to see the difference let's execute this here we got first we got in ascending order then in descending order the names of employees next question sort the employees based on department and name let's copy paste that previous one to sort so here we need to sort based on both department and name so let's remove that map okay now we need to add here the logic to sort so comparator dot comparing so first we need to sort based on department so let's get that employee double colon get department that's it this will sort the list let's run this now yeah we got the employees list sorted based on department first so here if you see development development hr sales sales so it got sorted next it should be sorted based on name let's do that so after this we need to add dot then comparing so here we need to get the names of employees okay that's it let's execute this now so here if you see first we got the department sorted then the name also sorted if you see for sales department first it is printed devi and then siva by seeing id we can know the difference print the number of employees in each department let's see how we can do that employee list dot stream so here we need to get each department for that we can use something called collect so inside this collectors dot grouping by so this will be used to group the departments so inside this we need to get employee double colon get department okay now we got the departments grouped okay let's print this now assign this to one variable number of employees create variable so if you see this is a map and inside this map we have key as string and the value is list of employees so string is nothing but the departments and inside this department all the employees will be grouped together okay let's print this now Okay, let's execute this now. If you see, the result is sales equal to the employee. Similarly, development equal to the respective employees, and the HR equal to the respective employees. So it is grouped. We got here all the employees, but we want only the number of employees. That is count. So how we can do that means inside this grouping by we can add something called collectors dot counting. this will give us only the count so this return type will be changed create variable so if we see the value is here long running this now yeah we got only the count of employees so sales equal to 2 development equal to 2 hr is equal to 1 question print the duplicate departments that is expected output is sales development for this we can use the previous one so to get the number of employees we have used right so here the output is we saw sales equal to 2 development equal to 2 hr is equal to 1 so these two values whatever more than one it is considered as duplicate right so we can use the same logic now okay since this is map containing string as department and long is the count value so we can use this map number of employees dot entry set so after this we can stream this stream so in this we need to get whatever values greater than 1 so dot filter department implies department dot get value greater than 1 so now we got the duplicates so we need to get only the keys so for that we can use map department implies department dot key get key 
so this is nothing but the sales development so whatever uh, key we need to get here by using map we are converting so here we can replace this with lambda expression now we can print this for each of system data double colon print ln okay we can execute this now yeah we got sales development 